What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 43 and today's topic will be uh, on bookmark like you are having a uh, 100 page or 50 pages to uh, pdf report and inside the pdf report you want to create a separate tab and where you want to add the bookmarks pages like uh, the important pages which you want the viewers or the uh, your customer to uh, go through it suppose you are having five pages report and inside the page one page is going to be kind of a cost or uh, dashboard and you want to add that page uh, inside one bookmark and how to do that so in this tutorial we'll show you how to do uh, or how to create those bookmarks things and this is going to be very unique as well because whenever you are going to do some sort of reporting you need to have those features and as I told you report lab is very powerful library so it is uh, providing out of this out of the box this uh, features as well so if you know how to do it you can create uh, very handy and essential report using um, report lab so how to set bookmarks bookmark page for your PDF file nothing to discuss on the theory part so let me just switch back to my ID so first thing first from report lab dot PDF gen put canvas okay then let's write PDF equals to canvas dot canvas and this is tutorial 43 dot pdf just because this is tutorial 43 and after that what i'll do i'll just write pdf dot draw center string and i will write 10 100 and let's say without bookmark and let's pdf dot save okay so if i uh, run this thing then will be one pdf file tutorial 43 will be generated here and inside that without bookmark what will be written okay so let's run this thing so let me refresh this thing so see this is the thing and if you see there is no bookmark tag over tab over here so what i'll do i'll just close this thing now we'll add the bookmark so for doing this let me uh, just do one thing so this is going to be pdf dot add uh, bookmark page so and this is going to be let's say uh, page one i'll write this thing page one and after that we'll write pdf dot uh, add outline entry and we'll give one title and one key title probably i can give page one and the key will be the same thing this one the same thing which is defined as a bookmark so page one and with bookmarks and after that you can write pdf dot show page and we can write the same thing again and i write without bookmark so let's run this thing so there will be two page and in the left hand side one bookmark will be there inside the bookmark this with bookmark page will be saved okay so let's run this thing it's terminated so let's run this thing so this is our bookmark tab if you are using adobe acrobat reader this means bookmark so if you go here see the page one has been here so this is actually the name you can do anything let's see if i can see page bookmark page one for bookmark whatever you write you will get the answer oh, sorry you will get it over here so I'll let me just close this thing and if I open this thing over here so see page one for bookmark and if you click this thing it is here actually so I need to make it from 50 so let's run this thing I think I need to close this thing and open and if I go here see with bookmark so there are two pages actually one is bookmark and one is with bookmark so if I click this thing it will go and open this thing this is bookmark so you can add multiple bookmark pages for example again you see uh, with bookmark 
okay and after that if you just do this thing you need to just do this thing so this okay page 2 and you have to mention this thing okay and save this thing and if you open this thing see there are page 1 for bookmark with bookmark and page 2 so this is very simple for creating bookmark pages and this is going to be very unique and definitely your clients or the project for which you are generating this report or anywhere the owner or whatever task you are getting if you are providing this sort of feature inside your report your report will get like uh, definitely your extra edge from the other parties who are actually competing you or uh, those are actually working or developing your uh, report so definitely if you're having this sort of feature inside your report definitely it will be unique trust me and as i told you you don't have to worry about that if you just oh, oh, if you just need to uh, know the different methods or packages whatever available inside the report lab and what is actually uh, the benefit of using those things and if you are uh, clear about all those things uh, either from my tutorial or from the report lab documentation it doesn't matter until and unless uh, your purpose is solved i don't have any problem you can go ahead and run or get this knowledge from the reported office here documentation as well because from the day one i'm telling you whatever i'm teaching you actually i'm i didn't follow any other books i only follow report lab official documentation everything was clearly written there if you want to learn more in detail you can follow those tutorial as well from the report lab website and just because i started learning things uh, for report lab uh, probably one and maybe more than one year ago and after that i did one project and that time actually i came to know about this library and it actually helped me a lot and since then i am using this thing and whatever i used uh, for my understanding my learning and all those uh, things are actually uh, included in this tutorial if you follow this uh, if, if you guys are following this 43 tutorial uh, properly you will become expert in report lab and you can uh, trust me i'm not <laughs> doing any joke or anything uh, extra so this is actually going to happen with you if you if you are watching this tutorial from the beginning definitely you will be able to create any sort of uh, pdf dashboard or report for your company for your boss for your client and if you're working for any freelancing project definitely they will be happy with your work so let me just write this thing over here that's it so that's it guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button and if you think these videos are going to help your family member or friends whoever is interested to learn some new techniques or tricks please 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 share our channel with your friends and family member as well and for the udemy students thank you very much thanks for purchasing my course this has actually helped me a lot it is indirectly or directly supporting me in many ways and i'm getting uh, confidence or courage or motivation just because if uh, because of you guys only so just uh, stay tuned with us we are planning to create some other tutorials in other topics like machine learning and other stuff so hopefully by end of february or first week of march we are coming up with some more tutorial as well so that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice